The Hilton Garden Inn of downtown Phoenix occupies a building that, by today's standards, is unassuming. But for one who has time on her hands and willingness to look, the limestone facade and art deco designs that grace the outer walls of the building might be enough to draw her inside, just as it drew me in. If you're a writer, the Hilton Garden Inn is a great place to write on Wednesday. The building at 15 East Monroe Street opened in 1931, two years after the stock market crash that launched the Great Depression. It served briefly as home to the Santa Fe Railroad ticket office. In 1932, it became headquarters to the Valley National Bank and Trust, as well as home to medical offices for physicians, dentists, and laboratory personnel. The bank occupied the first few floors, while the medical offices occupied the remaining upper floors. In 1930, the Maricopa County Medical Society had envisioned this building, serving as the largest centralized health care center between El Paso and Los Angeles. And so it became, at least for a while. The building was dubbed the Professional Building. One of the original nameplates can still be seen in the Monroe Street foyer. In 1958, the bank was doing so well that it installed an enormous revolving Valley National Bank sign on the roof. It's featured in the opening scene of Alfred Hitchcock's famous thriller movie, Psycho. It was touted as the largest sign of its kind in the world. In 1972, Valley National Bank moved its headquarters across the street into a skyscraper nearly triple the size of the professional building. The building across the street retains the distinction of being the tallest in Arizona. The revolving Valley National Bank sign was dismantled within a year of that move. In 1993, the professional building was entered on the National Register of Historic Places, but this did nothing to halt the exodus of its last tenants. In 2005, the building was purchased and gutted to be turned into a boutique hotel called Hotel Monroe, but the lender for the project, Mortgages Limited, collapsed in the 2008 mortgage crisis and the project screeched to a halt. For over a decade, the building sat abandoned and deteriorating until it was purchased in 2014. It underwent a massive renovation and was restored to its Art Deco origins, reopening as the Hilton Garden Inn in December of 2015. On September 29, 2016, the Hilton Garden Inn was host to the first PHX Silent Reading Party, where over a hundred strangers gathered in the restored Grand Lobby to read. Unlike neighboring historic structures, there are few legends associated with the professional building. Maybe, like the building that Angela Bridges makes plans to renovate and memory stands still, maybe this building keeps its secrets buried in a hidden nook someplace, perhaps in the old bank vault that still stands within, or behind one of the many Art Deco ironwork grates, or beneath the marble floor. Or maybe the lore of this building is waiting to unfold anew as visitors settle into wingback chairs and allow themselves to be transported to a different place and time. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit like and subscribe to receive more videos about intriguing places to write on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.